Good morning and welcome to Hymns by Request. I'm Greg Johnson and once again welcome to my home and welcome to the piano and welcome to just a time to raise our vibrations. I'm so glad that you could join me. It may not be morning where you are, but whatever time it is, it is right now. And I'm thrilled that you've taken a moment to come and join us. This is totally an informal program. It's not a lecture. It's not a, a talk. It's certainly not a concert uh, or a performance. It's simply coming together, raising our vibrations, celebrating our spiritual energy, and that can come in many, many forms. And uh, right now in the world, we've just finished Eastern Passover, so that was a very big spiritual time when a great number of people of whatever faith are praying together. The spiritual energy, we're not talking dogma or theology, the spiritual energy is huge. And right now in the world, it's Ramadan. So all of our Muslim brothers and sisters are involved in a 30-day prayer time. Think of all that energy surrounding this world. In Thailand, there are celebrations going on. In the Hindu world in India, there is another holiday going on. In my beloved Bali, it's Galungan and Kuningen. These are all times when a group of people who are united in a particular faith come together to reflect and to go forward, to cleanse and to revitalize. And what could be more wonderful for us? No matter what your faith background may or may not be, today is an opportunity for you to just connect to the love that created you and created me. And it's that love that unites us. We're energy. Science has certainly proved that. And our energy connects. I can feel the energy right now. I'm someone who spends a great deal of time in that sort of meditative world, and I just feel so much energy. I feel it coming literally through this phone. So I'm very grateful that you're with us, and let's just raise those vibrations and have some fun. All right, our normal beginning song. Change my heart, oh God. Make it ever true. Change my heart, O oh God. May I be like you. You are the potter. I am the clay. Mold me and make me. This is what I pray. Change my heart, O oh God. Make it ever true. Change my heart, oh God, may I be like you, may I be like you. What a wonderful wonderful prayer. I hope that you enjoy that one as much as I do. I always love to begin our program with that. Now, as I have said just two weeks ago, it was Easter Sunday, and uh, uh, Mark and Lorna Dell have asked, it was very cute, they wrote two emails to me, they said, will you sing Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia? Well, I knew exactly what hymn they meant, and so we're going to sing that hymn to begin with. A 
Hallelujah, indeed. I'm so glad um, I see them on online here. I'm so grateful you suggested that, and that's important. I always like to remind all of you, you can feel free to send me an email, and the email that's easiest is Greg Johnson at gjp-international.com. Greg Johnson at gjp-international.com. And uh, let me know what hymns you might like, or, or songs even from your tradition. I'm always thrilled to include, to expand, and for me to learn, because I don't presume to know all of them at all either. But it's fun to sing together. Now, this is a song that I have used many, many times at Marble Collegiate Church in Prayer Circle as a post-Easter, but I never knew the verse, and so I want to begin with that. Emptied of his glory, God became a man to walk on earth and ridicule and shame. A ruler yet a servant, a shepherd yet a lamb, a man of sorrow, agony, and pain. He is Lord, he is Lord, he is risen from the dead, and he talking about his name, and I want to sing that song. Yes, there we are. Two songs that sort of bookend each other. His name is Wonderful, and then Jesus. I think you'll enjoy these, and I think you'll know them, so sing along. You don't need to know all the words, but the melodies, I think, are very familiar. <laughs> Wonderful, his name is wonderful, his name is wonderful, Jesus, my Lord. He is the mighty King, master of everything. His name is wonderful, Jesus. My Lord, he's the great shepherd, the rock of all ages, almighty God is he. Bow down before him, love and adore him, his name is wonderful. Pass away, but 
there's something about that name. about that name. I love, love, love that song, and I hope you do too. Now, another well-known hymn, not necessarily just an Easter hymn, but it certainly sums up a lot of theology that we're talking about. So, um, Love Divine, or Love Excelling. Join me as we sing this. <laughs> wonderful song, a wonderful song when we're particularly looking to raise our energy and our vibrations. This is my father's world, the divine, God, Allah, whatever word you want, the creator, the starting point of the universe, wherever you are in your spiritual journey, the divine love created all of us. But not just us, the animals, the world, the trees, the plants. God is, the divine is, and each, each is a pathway for us as we try better to understand the love that is in our heart and in our bodies, dying to break forth and reconnect with the Creator who placed it there. And when that happens, we truly sing, this is my father or my mother's world. Either one is perfectly fine. Here we go. This is my father's world and to my listeners Ears. All nature sings and round me rings the music of 
Now, this morning, I'm going to end our program with uh, one uh, song that I had more requests for than I think from any. I did it on Easter Sunday for you. I had forgotten about this particular version. The tune is, of course, Danny Boy. But it's a wonderful, wonderful song, and I particularly love in the second verse where it says, We'll leap and dance the resurrection story. It talks about story, our story. Because it's our stories that help others, and they help us. Because as we look at our stories in life, that's why we sometimes need to sing them. We're singing other people's stories. And you know what happens? We see ourselves in that story. And we find strength. For that's what music has done for years and centuries, has done and continues to do. And in a very simple way, these programs bless me enormously. I look forward each week just to sitting down and playing some of these wonderful hymns, even as I'm preparing these programs, reading your notes and reading your comments. I'm very blessed to think, oh yes, Yes, let's celebrate, let's share that. And it's a great blessing. And it gives me a great deal of energy and a great deal of peace. And I hope that's true for you. So we shall go, we shall go out with hope of resurrection. That's what we're going to talk of today. We shall go out with hope of resurrection. We shall go out from strength to strength go on. We shall go out and tell our stories boldly. Tales of a love that will not let us go. We'll sing our songs of wrongs that can be righted. can be healed. We'll leave a cloth of all the world united within the vision of a Christ who sets us free. We'll give a voice to those who have not spoken. We'll find the words for those whose lips are sealed. We'll make the tunes for those who sing no longer. Vibrating love alive in every heart. We'll share our joy with those who still are Resurrection. 
including all within the circles of our love. Well, you're very much in my circle of love. Bless you. Thank you for being with, being with me and blessing me. I could hear you singing. I feel those vibrations. And I urge you, this is a powerful time, as we've said. Give yourself the gift of being quiet and centering in the love that surrounds the world. For there is love, and it's waiting to surround you. God bless and thank you for being with me this morning. I'll see you next week. Hymns by request, and don't forget, send in the request. God bless, and as we always stay, say, onward in love and caring. Namaste. See you next week.